City Locals, and it's going to be Ralphie versus Vivi. And I think Ralphie playing the Pythra. I actually really like this. Um, I have not seen his Pythra before, but I do think that... Um, I think it's a good fit based on his playstyle. We'll see whether this actually ends up, uh, you know, bearing any fruit because... Oh, he's facing off against Vivi, one of those seasoned New York players that has been just putting up fantastic results for months now. So wait, you said uh, Ralphie's the the, the Piper? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I think that might need to be changed on our uh, layover. I am. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay yeah. There we go. <laughs> I would have been very surprised if they actually, if, if the way to... Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. We have a very even game right here. Now, one advantage that Ralphie might have in this matchup is access to Pyra. Because if you are Vivi playing Lucario, the name of the game is survivability. If you survive, Ooh. you get to abuse all of that juicy, juicy aura. Did you see how far that F smash reached? I think that was... Did he extend the, his hitbox with anything? Or was that just F Smash reaching all the way through? I think like, it's just... It's got that little shockwave coming out because uh, of the aura. I, we'll get a look on the replays once this game is done. But in the meantime, the Pyra, this is what I was just saying, might actually be good for uh, Ralphie. The fact that he can switch to this character that hits just so Ooh. hard. Force the air dodge right there, and that ended up costing Vivi uh, his stop. Not only a stock, but so much aura. Something that Lucario just absolutely thrives on, not only on the kill power, but just the insane pressure that aura gives, uh, just from the active hitbox of the aura sphere, uh, getting to force options out of your opponent. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, one thing that we've already seen, Vivi's low percent combos with no aura Lucario are also really solid. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There we go. That Aura Sphere just is able to cover so many options. Force Palm. Ooh, nice DI by that, Ralphie. That also might have been those one or two, I think it's like maybe only a few unit differences, but Pyra is heavier. I think that actually helped Ralphie survive. Let's see if he can take that one single survival all the way because he has a lot of rage on him right now, and we already have seen so many times just how... <laughs> Just how We're running hard. away, waiting for the sword to come back, but the Aura Sphere is going to take it. Yeah, Ralphie just jumping in, and that Aura Sphere is just its so good as an anti-air option. Lucario's low percent combos are so cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they don't necessarily do that much damage. Um, or at least when he has no Aura, they don't do that much damage. But when he has Aura, oh, boy. Liking the rapid switching from Ralphie, trying to sort of confuse Vivi as to what he should be looking out for in the neutral. Ooh, Foresight coming through. Foresight coming through, but not actually able to uh, convert half of it at all. Did but. get Ralphie out of uh, getting down aired from the Aura Sphere, but... That is true. Yeah, the fact that it comes out. I believe that's frame one, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, if, if, uh, if we're wrong about that, we can get confirmation later. In the meantime, look at this. Ralphie looking to close out the that stock. going to take it. That was so good. I, I think, v I don't know if maybe neutral get up or jumped into it, but regardless, good option coverage from Ralphie. Managing to keep things very even here. Foresight, once again, uh, down air such just such a good option for Lucaria out of shield, but Foresight going to put Ralphie in the driver's seat for a little bit here. Yeah, and this is, we actually haven't seen too many of these low percent Mithra combos, but yeah, no, they, those combos did their job. And now switching to uh, Pyra, he's looking for down air to uh, up smash. Like, he's looking for some way to close out the stock. Oof. Oh, that's going to do it. Just like you said. Yeah, the down air from Pyra is just so, it's so big. And it's so good. It just leads into kills at so many percent windows. Um... Now, one thing about this matchup that, yeah, so I think this is what we were talking about. I think he extended the hurt box. Yeah, there yep, was a dash yep. attack. Initiated a dash attack, and that's why that F smash just was hit from so far away. Yeah, that was, did he have time to act there? Was that a directional air dodge or a neutral air dodge? But 
I thought it was a neutral air dodge when I... Oh, no, that was directional. That was directional. tried to make it to the mm. ledge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably thought he was just within range, but no... Uh, not quite. Yeah, not quite. And so that ends up leading to Ralphie taking game one. I'm honestly... I'm, I'm really liking the way that Ralphie's playing right now. Mm-hmm. Taking it right back to PS2. Not only that, not even switching characters. I can definitely understand why. Um, it feels like Hero would really struggle with Mithra, the fact that Mithra just has such good rushdown. Agreed. However, I think we've also seen that Pyra is really key in this matchup. The fact that Ralphie isn't even spending that much time on Mithra. He gets low percent combos, and if he doesn't get those low percent combos, he switches to Pyra and just hits like a truck regardless. Not, I like the... Dash up grab right there. Now we're seeing... Ooh, bonks the the extreme speed right there. Yeah, that can actually be... Like, there are times where Vivi does that on purpose to get these really slick recovery mix-ups, throw off the opponent. And here once more is Pyra. Coming out swinging. Oh boy, 95%. One downer now will absolutely mean the kill. And yeah, you can see that Ralph is looking for it. Ooh, good stuff from Vivi. Recognizing that the... Oh, oh he threw out the blazing edge. So oh, but you can't up see him. Up I think he maybe could have air dodged to the ledge, or maybe he was just too far away. But that's going to be a really pivotal stock drop to Ralphie because not only did he does he no longer have the rage to help with killing, but now this is a high percent Lucario with those low percent combos. He deals so much damage. Look at that 41 run already. Yeah, we're seeing some great Aura Sphere movement coming out from VB. That's one of the key things, I think, for Lucario is just keeping that Aura Sphere ambiguous and also large because of the Aura. Wow, did you see the F-Tilt just, like, beating out that landing area yeah. from BB? But oh, this is the thing. Pyra, you know, really strong, really powerful. That should do like it, that. Yep. Yeah, but that was actually really impressive that Ralphie managed to find that hit. Very uh, very risky option to go for, but he just managed to uh, scoop VV up, cleaning off that stock. And now, with one solid Pyra, uh, Mithra combo, this could be an even game. It's an interesting uh, jumping down air. I don't think I've ever seen down air move like that. No, honestly, despite the fact that Mithra is supposedly had a really good neutral, you know, really good normals, Ralphie's been struggling in this stock to yeah, really no. pin down Vivi and get any meaningful strings going. Something I've been noticing a lot is Vivi is just, he just has so much space right now to run around and charge his Aura Sphere, make Lucario as scary as possible. Wow! Almost just caught the jump. But Matrix dodging that, oh, Aura Sphere, only to get Force Palm just a short while later. This is the sort of thing where if you're Ralphie, things can escalate, get really out of hand really quickly, because you need to get a kill on a higher, like, you know, a mid-percent Lucario without taking too much damage. Otherwise, I mean, if he takes too much damage, he might die to, a, like, VB, even when he respawns right back in. Uppy not going to take it quite yet. Uh, wrong side of the stage. Jab? Almost. Good DI by Vivi. <laughs> he thought that was going to kill. That's why I switched to uh, Mithra. <laughs> and once again, we're seeing extreme speed, or extreme speed is such a difficult move to punish. It's so ambiguous. What's that going? No, Pyra doesn't really have a kill throw of any kind. And, oh, man, 168%. This is o max rage. I think it's almost max aura for uh, Lucario. Oh, yeah. Look at how big oh. that back air was. Oh. Honestly, a force bomb or a forward smash at ledge will just kill. It right? doesn't even need to be doesn't at ledge. What are you talking ledge. about? screen <laughs> Just Lucario things. Lucario. Oh, man. And this is the sort of thing where it felt like... Ralphie was really started to get his footing, game make this comeback. Like, um, is this actually? No, this isn't where he died. Is this where he got the jab? No, this is. Is this actually where he died? Oh my god! Is that god. sixty? Yeah. I think. Yep. Nice. 
Yeah, but it felt like, you know, Ralphie got that one, two, three jab, switched to Mithra because he thought he got that kill, and then it was like, oh no, oh god, I still have to kill a Lucario. Oh god, he's at 168 now. Oh yeah, and there yeah. was uh, Wait, the... can we take a look at that, that that clip again? Was he able to... He's at really low percent. That's a really bad SD. Threw it out there. Oh, oh he, he did actually air did dodge. air dodge. Did he have a jump? I didn't see. What? Oh, he, he, wait. Oh, yeah, burned the jump, so... Yeah, that definitely was the idea behind it. Coming but. into game three, we're seeing an FD counterpick coming out from Ralphie. What do you think about this counterpick? Usually when I see somebody pick FD... Oh, cute. Um, nice. There are a couple... I feel like it's a statement on a couple points. One, you think your neutral is better than the opponent's, and so, you know, you're trying to go to a stage without platforms where it's all about the nooch. Another thing is that you are confident in your ability to ledge trap or juggle your opponent. Um, which, you know, and also confident that your opponent isn't really going to be able to do that to you. And I definitely, considering the fact that he's playing a sortie, I understand the merits behind that. However, I think that the platforms on PS2 were really good for Ralphie when he was trying to find that pirate down air. Now it's going to be a lot harder and trickier for him to find that kill. Not only that, I think uh, Ralphie's going to have a lot less places to hide, especially once these Aura Spheres start getting huge. Uh, Vivi's been doing a really good job of putting the Aura Spheres just at head height so that they're able to cover, uh, you know, standing and jumping. Yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, this is the sort of percent where things do get really tricky. Yeah, look at that charged Aura Sphere. It's so, so big. This first sock could be a huge momentum. And that is really, that's, I think it's the first time we've seen Ralphie take the first stock. And I think it's going to be really important because there's a low percent Lucario. You're not quite as worried about just dying to stray hits. And you're allowed to go Mithra, possibly get a really nice damaging combo in. You know, so that even if you do die soon, you have a nice buffer to work with. Switching out to Pyra. Can I get Force Palms? Uh, no I, aura, though. So. I mean, I, <laughs> I, you know. I actually like that of the rapid switching because uh, Vivi didn't really know with how to punish the recovery because both characters have exploitable recoveries, but they're kind of exploitable in different ways. Oof. Nice counter. From that me. was the first time we've seen double team this set, actually. And pulling it out where it counts, getting that first stock. Yeah. Uh, Vivi's so comfortable with uh, just... Uh, Taking, uh, taking some space back from the opponent and just charging some Aura Sphere, uh, making the opponent uh, strike where they think the Lucario is going to be. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah. Getting the Aura Sphere just touching your shield is so scary. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yep. You know what's scarier than Aura Sphere, though? <laughs> Aura Charge F Smash. Oh. And just like I was saying before, uh, moving back 56. just a little bit. <laughs> he said, this took 56. Yeah, he has to go pyro because he needs to get this kill immediately. He's already, he's already at about 70. Yeah, and I mean, like, this is the sort of thing where, like, that downer is one of the big ways to do it. But without platforms on this stage, it's, it's, it's a lot more linear. It's a lot more predictable, especially considering the fact that Pyra's movement is just uh, so slow. Oh, was looking for the jab, one, two, three. I think he mixed up his timing, hoping to catch he a did. drop shield. Wow, I think Great it was neutral and kill, but... That'll do it. All right, and Mithra, you know, it's a little bit scary, but you're not going to be dying to, you know... It's going to have to be a calculated hit from Vivi in order to actually take the stock at this point. So, you can take a few more risks uh, if you're Alfie at this stage. Yeah, but the thing is, like, the irony is if you get a nice combo in on VV, all of a sudden now you are at death percent. Yeah, now you're at death percent and you had to switch to Fyra. <gasps> oh! Oh man, that downer was looking really scary. Oh, this is actually an even game right here. And both these characters have, I would say, uh, equivalent kill power. Look at the V mobility on VV's part might be the difference maker. Yep, Somehow that not Earth sphere. This is such a last hit situation. Look at throwing out these aerials. Yes. He's living, but just barely. Forced to land and managing to find it. No, not quite yet. Still forced to recover. Just running right up to him. Another one of those tomahawk grabs. 
Maybe uh, Rafi has been going for them so consistently. Oh, but this oh. is going to should be it. Miss Space is the back air, and the Force Pump doesn't actually get the grab. Uses the invincibility from down B in order to... Oh, that's going to be it. No, Foresight. Foresight coming in clutch. That... Ah. Yep, doesn't need one of the big moves. Just aura charged up air is going to take it at that percent. Yeah, for, I actually, I think it was really smart from Ralphie to switch to Pi, uh, Mithra at that point because of the foresight. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, one of the biggest risks is getting caught in that uh, that aura sphere. And, yeah, I think that, that the way he DI'd out that first time pretty much forced the back air as the option. Mm -hmm. But that time around, you saw that VV landed deep. Yeah. With the, so there was no chance of DIing a way to avoid an up air. But uh, good stuff to Ralphie, but not quite able to take the set. So that's going to be Vivi moving on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic set. I love watching good Lucarios. Hey, thanks for the uh, subscription, Miles. Thanks so much. Hope you hope uh, yeah! New England hope, <laughs> hope New England has been uh, treating you well. I hope you're crushing everybody out there and showing them what a uh, what's the word uh, free region they are. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Player 4, hey, for go. the sub. Yeah.